What's up guys? I want to show y'all everything I've done as far as all my creations. Um, I've painted a couple things, made a couple things, and the one certain thing I'm not going to show is because that's on Facebook already, and I'm going to put this video on YouTube. So first I have this. I made this as a anniversary present. And it has a latch on it. I made this, um, just created this out of nothing. And you can open it up. And this is uh, representing love together fishing and also the guitars I traced that from my Jackson guitar and I've traced this from my Fender And I just put like um, strings on it that I spray painted silver with self tappy screws on it. Little foxy lady gave me this and I painted it. And I painted this little angel. And this bunny and I've had sitting out in the yard forever and I just repainted it um another little angel I've had I repainted it and left it outside and I had to repaint it again um I've had this in honor of my dog that died this is what she would like as a puppy And I had pictures of her, so I used the pictures to replicate her. I did this in the high school. It's a watercolor painting. This is my first watercolor painting I did. And this painting I did couple years back it's oil painting and I found the frame I did this one also out of uh, high school um, it's actually a picture out of National Geographic that I looked at, sketched, and painted on canvas. It's also an oil painting, and I found a frame for it. It's been years ago. This is a piece of aluminum. I used to work in um, aluminum shop uh, building boat towers and there's a piece of scrap aluminum for um, light plate laying around so on my break I drew out a guitar as first time I ever used a band saw to cut metal of course I had to put wax on the metal blade to cut this it's kind of rough, but this is my first time doing that. And I also made this from aluminum. I made a couple of these and gave it out to some friends. And I made some USC plates and... um made one for my dad 
made one for one of my friends. I also made her a uh, Scorpio, because that was her birth sign. And this was made uh, a couple months back. The post is from my uh, mailbox post that Matthew, or Aimless, cut off to make my mailbox post. Um, and it was laying around forever, so I got creative one day and added detail to it. I made the windows and the doors and the... The um, balconies and bought the fairies at the dollar store. The flowers come from the dollar store. The rope come out of uh, Walmart and I just painted it up. And this is another creation I did. And the little fairy swings. We found these skulls laying around in the yard or across the creek and I went and painted them up. Uh, it's another little thing I did. And that's just basic watercolor. And this cat was my mom's. Um, I fixed up the cracks Looks like it's got a couple of little cracks in it, but I'm going to eventually end up painting it. I'm not really sure what colors yet. It's been sitting around my art room forever, and Aimless made this stool for me. It was an old bar stool we had, and I needed a work table, so he, I found an old sign and um, screwed it down to it so I can move it as I painted things. And I created my own koi pond. My mom had the bricks for the longest time. And when I was living in West Columbia, I've had the bricks and I was going to make my koi pond there. But then I had to move and I moved to Gaston and I left Gaston after five years. And moved to my mom's lake house. I rebuilt it. And then when I moved from her lake house, I moved to here. And this is the last time I... um. Last time I'll ever move it. The dolphin statues need work on it. I painted up those for my mom. She had them around her pool. And they still work. They're aged a lot. Um, and I painted my beagle. I had a beagle at one time. And as he was laying down in my bedroom, I was painting the statue and... I painted him to look just like my beagle. You know, I've had to pressure wash him off a couple times. And I need to redo the frogs. And this is a fox I did for Foxy Lady. I can't really turn it around right now. It's very heavy. I've had this statue. Um, it was given to me. And sometime last year I painted it up. Tried to sell it a couple times. Uh, had a couple people interested in it but never came and got it. So I just figured I'd stick it on my front porch. This also was given to me, and I've painted it up a while back. The bird bath, um, I had. 
I painted it and used to sit in my mom's backyard at the lake. So when I moved, I brought it back with me. It's aged. Of course, you can't see that. I got these out of my aunt's yard in North Carolina at one of her old houses she grew up in. And when I went up there to live for a couple months, I went and did her yard and asked her if I could have these. And she said, yeah, I need to work on them and redo them. I'm still trying to find some uh, full-size deer, but the places I've been looking... Don't really have any. So that's another project I got to go do. It's another one I painted. These are pewter. I used to collect pewter from uh, D and D characters. I made her ugly because she's supposed to be a troll warrior. And she fell a couple times. That's why her nose is beat up. And I'll show you that collection when I get back inside. And I made an ashtray because I get tired of picking up cigarette butts. So I made this. I made this a while back uh, when I was living in gas. It was a bookshelf. I took the back of it off and had it painted, and me and Foxy Lady repainted everything. We was going to put, like, a couple of furniture things in there, but it's basically used as a small flower holder. Yes, those are pine cones. This pea gravel. It used to be cool. I have a piece of wood over there on the side of it. A piece of tree bark. If I can find a picture, I'll show it. And here's the main thing. Me and Matthew built you know, he started off with uh, lumber from the lake. Show you that. Some of it's old trees. The frame is pretty much old trees. And we coated everything, hoping that it wouldn't rot. And the bees have burrowed out buried holes in it. That one looks a lot of aging. You know, when we put the screen up because we found a ginormous spider in here and it keeps the bugs out. But the little tiny frogs come and eat all the small insects. So this is our creation we made the wood floor he's still working on his his floor part with dirt or concrete's what he needs and Matt put all the lights and the wire in eventually we're gonna have a sink out here and another little awning over here for storage Sooner or later. It took both me and him to buy the material as soon as we got the money saved up we started working on everything 
Yeah, these are turtle boxes too I made, but I see they're never going to hatch. There's holes in the ground where turtles are laid, but, you know, there's nothing that came out of them. But these are turtle boxes. This is a path I made with old logs laying around the yard. And I'll take you down there. A little side path. It's like a little mown little nature walk. And that's where the end of the logs are. I actually had to roll them down the hill instead of it was so much easier. Now I've cleared a little path. Get a stick and knock down the spider webs. There's a lot back here. A little bench. Two little walkways that I created. Just so that I can. Come out here and look at my leg. And there's my other one. the shaded part right now. Oh, that was a walk. And of course, I helped build the porch. My mom moved this house out here on this property. Um, me and Matt's got all the grass to finally grow. Um, I moved in here about, say, one of almost 10 years, and finally got it to where I'm satisfied. I want to extend the porch out a, little, uh, a couple, four more feet, maybe. We just build everything to regulation. And the back porch to the back door. Used to use a lot, but I don't anymore. And this are boxes to where we uh, hooked up the shed. This is my porch. Ashtray map made. And everything in here. This should be carpet. I ripped that part up. Took the old solid piece of threshold that was down up and replaced it with four pieces of Stick a pill tile, not tile, but linoleum. Um, I painted all the rooms in semi gloss. All these walls used to be bare white with that thick layer of um, whatever stuff they sprayed. And it was all over the doorknobs. This is the only part that wasn't sprayed because everything was covered up. Um, all this used to be carpet. And I ripped that up. And a friend of mine bought the box of stick and peel tile. And I knew how to do floor work. So... I got rid of all the nails, all the screws, all the staples, and started laying the floor. 
And that piece used to be a piece of linoleum like it was in the kitchen, and gladly it wasn't glued down, so I just was able to rip it up. And I had to take that seam right there and cut it straight and stick that piece of metal on there. And eventually, I'd like to do the kitchen and the black and white also. And I had to take all the doors down, paint every door, clean every hinge, every handle. And I painted everything in this house. Design they created everything. I was in here one summer, it was 110 degrees outside. I had no power, uh, no water. Um, I was able to, to run a drop cord to my neighbor's house just to have a fan in here so I could work. And I worked day and night, every day, for two months in this hot trailer, mobile home. Matt made this for me. He doesn't like it, but it's awesome. Matt's mom made this for me. Also had this for a couple years. I painted it. Other things I've painted. She's a half elf warrior. I had a little blonde elf. She got lost when I moved. And this is uh, the other part to the troll chick outside. He's like a vampire. Troll warrior year. Um, dragon can't find his other wing. I'm sure, it's around here other somewhere. And I've still got the little rider that rides on his back. Let's see, my pet, my unicorn, painted it. Hmm. Just a couple rams. Animals I painted. This dude's got red eyes. These are all pewter. I used to collect these. And I think I've lost half of them. I used to be a D&D &D player. And I found this at the Hobby Lobby a long time ago. It's my garden fairy, my oversized Tinkerbell.
I love detail work. This is a mule from a nativity scene that I found under a burnt house where I had a job one time helping uh, to restore the house. And I painted this. There's a baby Jesus, a Joseph, Mary, and three wise men that I painted. And that's all with my Christmas stuff. I also found her at the Hobby Lobby a long time ago. And I painted her. painted this and I gave my mom the other one I painted for her so she can hang up in her kitchen and here's another I did in high school it was a self portrait we had to look in a mirror and draw ourselves and learn how to shade Shading with lines. Yeah, that's a young me. And drawing. And my Uncle Jimmy in North Carolina made these, this guitar stand, wall mount for his guitar. He gave me this. It's made of cedar. And I tried to attempt to make a couple of them, but they always fell apart. So now that I have some cedar wood, I might get uh, Aimless to cut me out some so I can make some more stands. Guitar hangers. And yes, that's my Jackson. Signed by... My friends of Chalkline. Made this too. So I've got a lot of projects I've done. If I could paint the world, I could. Um... I want to make myself a medicine cabinet for my bathroom because there's not one in there and I really need one in there. So I'll probably make it and I'll keep y'all posted on it. There's a couple other things I need to get done. Um, Aimless has got a project for me that I'm doing and I'm working on it, trying to get my project done for entry. Um... I don't know. Uh, I'm sure there's more projects for me to get done. I'm still trying to do some music videos and learn, learn another song. So I'll be doing all that on my channel too. And you can watch all this on Facebook as I go. Just like and subscribe to Blonde Jovi Rock Solid Creation. And I'll keep y'all posted on mostly everything that I do or create. Peace.